All right, so we have learned about value. We created our skulls with some pencil values. Today we're going to use watercolor paint to create a value gradient on our paper. So you're going to first write your name and your teacher's name, just right there in the middle on the back. And then you can decide if you want to have your paper vertical or horizontal, and you might think about how you drew your skull. We're going to start with some water with our darkest gradient. So you're going to use the water, and then you can decide what colors you want to use. I think I'm gonna start with the blue. You have to add the water to your paint to activate it. Remember to be nice to your brush. And then we're just gonna paint lightly across the paper. Now this is a pretty light value right now, so in order to make it darker, I have to add more pigment to it. It's a little bit more paint, a little bit more water, kind of keeping that that dark value and just getting all the way across. And then to create the lighter value, I'm only gonna add water to my painting. And you can notice how I'm kind of going all the way from edge to edge. That light blue color is starting to form near the top there, but I don't want it that light, so I'm gonna add a little bit more dark down here at the bottom, getting that darker value. And then my lighter value just with the water. Kind of blending that in. So I'm going to go all the way to the top. Notice how I'm just using the water near the top and then kind of blending it down, adding a little bit more dark down here, and then gradually blending it together to get it all the way to the top. Now I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I don't want to get any white spots left. You can see it's just a very light color to get that light, light color. I'm going to add a little bit of purple. Purple is another dark value near the bottom there. Kind of get that darker value mixed in with my blue. I like it to be dark about a quarter of the way up. And then just use the water to blend it in. I want to be careful I don't get all of it dark because I do want to see some of the light values near the top. I might rinse out some of that paint getting a lot of purple in here now. And then when you have the paper smoothed out, you can see some of this paper starting to ball up. When you have it the way you want it, raise your hand, I'll come get it. Um, and you will be able to do two of these. So if you wanna do a different, if you wanna do one dark, um, maybe a warm color, this one's more of a warm red with some purple. This one's a purple, I think, mostly. This one's more of a blue. Definitely wanna smooth some of this out a little bit kind of blending that water in so I don't see too many of those stripes. I can see a little bit of it, but um, once you're finished, raise your hand and I will come get it from you and you will be done for this part of the project.